second corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 praise the lord this evening we are going to deal with a particular topic that i have named it the placebo effect the placebo effect and the verse supporting this thing is second corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. before i start the teachings let's pray father in the name of jesus let your word comfort will not be a blessing in the life of your children this divine utterance should remain in their heart to know that yes you are god there's no other god like you in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray amen believers say amen apostle emmanuel okand is my name from ghana the mind of the lord ministries i want you to support the work of god there is an orphanage project going on taking care of the poor the needy the widows as well and the second project is we need a PA system for street evangelism to go into the world and preach the gospel to all nations uh, tongue and tribes so please as you are listening to this sermon and as you are sitting down there kindly support so a seat to support give what you have even if it is one dollar two dollar three dollars whatever that you can use to support god will keep blessing you amen now before that let's look at the topic the meaning of placebo a placebo is a substance or treatment which is designed to have a therapeutic value common placebos include inert tablets like sugar pills inert injections like saline sham surgery and other procedures in general placebos can affect how patients perceive their condition and encourage body's chemical processes for relieving pain and a few other symptoms but have no impact on the disease itself improvement that patient experience after being treated with a placebo can also be due to unrelated factors such as regression to the mean that is a natural recovering from the illness the use of placebos in clinical medicine raises ethical concern especially if they are discussed as an active treatment as this introduces dishonesty into the doctor patient relationship and bypasses informed consent while it was once assumed that this deception was necessary for placebos to have any effect there are now evidence that placebos can have effect even when the patient is aware that the treatment is a placebo now now you have get a picture of placebo now let's look at the main topic or the theme the placebo effect as i said earlier on placebo is anything that seems to be a real that seems to be that seems to be a red medical treatment but isn't it could be a pill a shot or some other type of fake treatment with all placebos have a uh, uh, they all have in common they all have in common is that they do not contain an active substance 
meant to affect health. Do you understand? So researchers use placebo during studies to help them understand what effect a new drug or some other treatment might have on a particular condition. Do you get it? So, please like this video and share it. And God bless you. Now, let's look. We are familiar with the placebo as I've already given a definition before. So, it is any medication or treatment that is perceived as real but has no active what substance i believe you have experienced that before and is not familiar to us any improvement or worsening of the patient symptoms are attributed to the patient expectations and it is termed the placebo effect the placebo effect so placebos have many appearance appearances but are commonly pills that only contain sugar however placebos may encompass sham treatment such as sugaring such as surgery or intravenous infusions the patient may see or experience the treatment but no medication or surgical procedure is actually given or performed Mm. this is deep i'm using science and using the word of god to explain certain things in our christian life so be attentively and listening to me put your focus stay let your focus be on the word of god the one sitting beside you don't talk to him or her okay all right god bless you placebos are an important component of scientific research and serves as the control of experiment involving a true medication or treatment. Patients may be randomized to receive either the treatment or the placebo. In a double blinded study, neither the investigator or the patient knows which treatment they are administering or receiving any perceived response to the placebo is incorporated in the statistical comparison with the treat with, with the true treatment now look at this if 20 percent of the patients responded favorably to the placebo and 20 percent of the patient responded to the true treatment the true treatment will be statistically viewed as a failure that is deep so while all this seems straightforward there is an interesting wrinkle some medical investigators have utilized the placebo effect as an actual treatment patients are informed that the medication or treatment they are receiving is a placebo yet they are instructed to follow the same procedure as if it were a true treatment mm. mercy in selected studies a statistical significant positive response has been identified with some placebo treatments even when a patient knows the treatment they are receiving is fake it may still have a powerful what effect the mind can be powerful ally with medical treatment now let's come to the quotation i i i i mentioned the verses second Cor uh, uh, corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 i'm reading from the nkjv version therefore therefore if any man is in christ he is a new creation all things 
have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. For so many years, uh, in the life of some Christians or believers, I have realized this thing. And some people thought religion and Christianity were placebos. Some people thought some people thought religion and Christianity were placebos. Praying and worshipping an imaginary God, that is the lesser gods, was an ultimate placebo effect. But God, the Yahweh, Elohim, but Yahweh, Elohim, by his mercy and grace, it has turned people's heart and show he has showed them the the the, the depravity of their sinful nature they confessed and repented of their sins and accepted jesus christ as their lord and savior hear me church as you are sitting down listening to the word of god it is a moment that something miraculous can happen God has begun to transform some people by the power of his Holy Spirit or with his spirit. People will also now begin to understand what billions of other souls have to know. That God is real. He is not a placebo effect his power is not mind over body but god over the people's soul placebos demonstrate the power of the mind over the body or over body jesus christ is the power of god over all creation he transformed the entire being and conforms them to his glory. Love and trust the Lord. Seek his will in your life. God is so powerful. Jesus Christ is the power of God over all what creation praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah do you understand so the power of god that is so real it is not a placebo effect as we are as as we have to focus on the power of god The Bible in Psalm 111, the Bible says that, praise the Lord, I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, studied by all who have pleasure in them. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endure forever. He has made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He has given food to those who fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He has declared to his people the power of his works. Do you understand? the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations the work 
works of his hands are verity and just justice all his precepts are sure they stand fast forever and ever and are done in truth and uprightness he has sent redemption to his people he has commanded his covenant forever holy and awesome is his name the fear of the lord which by the name is our uh, which which is which by the way is our subject to our life is the beginning of wisdom a good understanding of all those who do so his commandment his praises endure forever so as verse 6 has declared to his people the power of his works and the power of god do you understand so the placebo effect is for the might of the body but the power of god is for all creation to redeem us to redeem us so in psalm 7 psalm 77 verse 30 to 40 says that your way oh god is in the sanctuary who is so great as god as our god obviously no one you are the god who does wonders you have declared your strength among the people praise the lord so if you have this kind of placebo effect in your mind you are not with god jesus christ is the power of god over all creation he transforms us he adopt us our sins were forgiven and a new thing happened to us a new creation god bless you and god be with you i want you to give your life to jesus and know that all power has been given to him and we need to ask for forgiveness we need to repent we need to be active of reviewing our actions and feelings contrition and regret for our past wrongs which is accompanied by our commitment to and the actual actions that we need someone to change us and this is jesus christ you understand so say this prayer after me heavenly father i am sorry for all of my sins and i repent of them all i give you my life today i confess my faith in your son jesus christ that is lord I believe that Jesus died and resurrected to give me eternal life. I confess my faith in him and accept him as my personal Lord and Savior. Amen. Now let me tell you this. It's no good to ask for forgiveness but not to believe god will forgive you god says that when you ask him to forgive you with sincere heart that is he is faithful to forgive so as you have spoken this word believe in him and keep telling him to forgive you and keep believing in him through his son jesus god bless you don't have this kind of effect the placebo effect if that thing happen to you, you will lose your eternal life. God be with you and may he bless you as you are a new creation. May everything be new in your life. My name is Apostle Emmanuel Okain. Listeners, support God's work, so seed, and help the ministry of God to move far. Peace.